Hello there, welcome to the news in brief from Pep About TV. My name is Omo Ikayere. First, the headlines. Why I approve redesigned Naira notes, says Buhari. Obaseki sees collaboration with Altos Guild on realization of Edo Film Village. Nigeria Governors Forum sues federal government for sale of 10 power plants and Obaseki bows to pressure, explains what Edward got from 13% derivation. Now the details. President Muhammad Buhari has launched the new Naira banknotes, expressing delight that the redesigned currencies were locally produced by the Nigerian Security Printing and Minting PLC, the reports. Speaking at the launch of the new banknotes, which preceded the Federal Executive Council meeting, the president explained in details the basis for his approval to the Central Bank of Nigeria to redesign the 200, 500, and 1,000 Naira banknotes. According to the president, the new banknotes will help the central bank design and implement better monetary policy as well as enrich the collective memory of Nigerians' heritage. He noted that the new Naira banknotes have been fortified with security features that make them difficult to counterfeit. President Buhari commended the CBN governor, Godwin Emefili, and his deputies for the initiative. He also lauded the efforts of the managing director, executive directors, and staff of Nigerian Security Printing and Minting PLC for working tirelessly with the APS Bank to make the currency design a reality. In his remark, the governor of Central Bank, Godwin Emefili, thanked the president for his unwavering support for the redesign and distribution of the new notes. Also noted that the new Naira notes will control inflation, make policies more effective, ensure financial inclusion, and fight corruption. Favor Percy Idubo, paper about television. Thank you very much, Favor, for that report. The Edo State Governor, Mr. Gordon Obaseki, has said that the state government we partner with the Actors Guild of Nigeria for the realization of the Edo Film Village. Obaseki said that his administration remains committed to harnessing the huge potentials locked in the state's creative industry. Favor Percy Dubo completes the story. Governor Gadwin Obaseki, while delivering the keynote address at the Nollywood Actors Summit 2022 with the team, impact of digital technology on the acting profession said that the state government will work with the actors to develop a new curriculum for use in junior secondary schools. The summit held at the Victor Waifu Creative Hub in Benin City between Monday, November 21st, 2022 and Wednesday, November 23rd, 2022. Obaseki said, I want to be remembered as a governor who changed the face of education in the state. My message to AGN is to let you know that the people are the greatest asset you can invest in, especially the young people. We are grateful that as a government, we had some foresight that we cannot think of development of creating a new economy without investing in digital. So for us, Edo is about culture and digital. In this area of culture, I have told you what we're doing in terms of creating the cultural district. In the area of digital, we are investing in a lot of our young people in the area of digital technology. Our aspiration is to produce between five and 10,000 software engineers and technology you know, experts from this city. And the way we have, we're going, up, Mr. President, we're clearly ready to support you. We're clearly ready to support the film industry. We've started with our baby steps and now that we have started, ain't no stopping us. The president of AGN, Ejezie Emeka Rolas,
commended Governor Basike for the standard of the creative hub. He said, you have proven that culture and tourism is one of the major cardinal areas in your reform agenda. AJZ also noted that making culture and tourism a cardinal agenda will surely fast track the social economic development in the state and also complement in fascinating tourist attraction in the state. We are in a digital age and this has placed actors in unique positions to tap into the opportunities of the emerging digital economy which emphasizes on new concepts, discipline, identity, and relationships. Favor Pesce Idibo reporting. Governors under the auspices of Nigeria Governors Forum are in court to stop the privatization of some power plants. In a communique, the NGF said its lawyers moved to prevent the federal government from selling 10 National Integrated Power Projects, NIPPS. Again, favor of Percy Dibo completes the story. The communique was issued at the close of a teleconference meeting held by the Governor's Forum. It was signed by the Nigeria Governor's Forum Chairman and the Governor of Secretary of State, Aminu Tambawa. The Governors also insisted that the dispute over the planned payment of $418 million Paris Club refund fee by the federal government to some contractors should be left for the cuts to resolve. The 10 power stations undergoing privatization process are Benin Generation Company Limited, Calabar Generation Company Limited, Egbema Generation Company Limited, Bahrain, Generation Company Limited, Geregu Generation Company Limited, Ogorode Generation Company Limited, Olu Songo Generation Company Limited, Omotosho Generation Company Limited, and Aloji Generation Company Limited. The Nigerian Governor Forums had instructed its lawyers to approach the Federal High Court, which at present has issued a court order restraining all the parties in the suit from taking any step or action that will make or render the outcome of the motion on notice seeking for interlocutory injunction nuggetry. Favor of Pese Idibo, Paper Belt Television. The Ado State Government has said it has received only 2.1 billion naira from the 28 billion naira that accrued to the state as 13% oil derivation fund for oil producing states. Favor of Percy Dubo reports that the explanation came after the Edo State Chapter of the All Progressive Congress, APC, called on the governor to account for the billions of naira recently released to the state by President Mohamed Buhari. Her reports. The call on Governor Gadwin Abasiki to tell Edo people the total amount the state received as 13% derivation funds as arrears dating back to 1999 by the All Progressive Congress, APC, has yielded results. Addressing journalists at the party secretariat in Benin City, Kone David Imose retired. The APC chairman recalled the revelation by the governor of River State, Nyeson Wike, who has rated 12 flyovers across his state using funds reportedly from the 13% derivation. According to the River State governor, Nyeson Wike, whereas all presidents since 1999 failed to pay 13% derivation funds to oil producing states, President Mohamed Buhari recently approved and paid over 9 trillion naira due to the oil producing states. During the press conference, APC charged Obaseke to explain why he deliberately refused to specify amounts received at 13% derivation funds in his 2023 budget estimates. However, the special advisor to the governor on media project, Mr. Cruz Osaige, said, Our budget on annual basis is about 250 to 300 billion. What percentage of 250 billion is 2.1 billion? It's even less than 1%, he emphasized. Last week, River State Governor, Mr. Yeson Wiki, revealed that he has been able to erect 12 flyovers across the state capital for Tarkot using funds from the 13% derivation River State received. This is why we are asking the Edo State Governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, to tell Edo people what he has done with the billions of Naira 
approximately 200 billion Mr. President released to Edo State. He should also explain why he has deliberately refused to specify amount received as 30% derivation fund in his 2023 budget estimates. As a deliberate policy, he has been pocketing Edo State monies by mismanaging the derivation funds. Information available to us shows that he deliberately hid the money so as to use it for the coming election, for vote buying, especially for the House of Assembly elections. For the past six years, Mr. Godwin Obaseki has wasted the Edo taxpayers' funds in celebrating his incompetence with the event he called Alagodao Summit. In fact, the summit is a covert operation, codenamed Obascam, where the scamming of Edo people is carefully planned and rehearsed for eventual execution. Hence, nothing positive has ever emanated from the exercise. This year, Mr. Godwin Obaseki has illegally registered a company called Alagodao Company Limited with his cronies and business allies as shareholders in the hope that his successor in office will continue with the annual scamming event. This is a governor who cannot account for all the monies he has received from the Federation account since he took office while wasting billions of naira on sort white elephant projects like the Benin Enterprise and Industrial Park, the Benin Innovation Hub, Edo Tech Park, Edo Refinery and Petrochemical Company, the Gele Gele Seaport, the University of Innovation, the Edo North Airport, the Benin Technical College claiming that he has boosted the growth of a non-existent private sector. Faith for Percy Idubo reporting. And that is the size of our news for today. I also appreciate you for listening and for watching. My name is Omo Ikaire. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.